Hi and welcome everyone, Lisa from the Relativity of Paper. Today I want to talk to you about die cutting. To get us started, I want to cover die cutting machines and uh, the advantages of owning one. So this that you see here on the screen is a Sizzix Big Kick. It is 12 and a quarter inches wide and it is 14 and a quarter inches long and it's a little over four inches high. Um, I actually did a little bit of research on the Sizzix website and this machine is still available and it retails for $119. If you feel like maybe that's a little bit steep, there are some other machines out there that are not quite as expensive, but I cannot recommend those because I don't use those. This is what I recommend. I've had this machine for five years. The Sizzix brand is a brand that I know and a brand that I trust. Now, with the big kick here, you see that you're going to get six inches width for uh, cutting. So anything that is six inches or less, you'll have no problems laying on your cutting um, pads and running it through your machine. If it's a, your paper's wider than six inches, you would have obviously have to cut it down um, to run it through. Mm -hmm. I've never replaced anything um, for my machine except for my cutting plates, which you see there, and that's just from normal wear and tear. When you get your machine, you're going to get a regular platform that has a tab A and a tab B, or excuse me, a tab 1 and a tab 2, and that's so that you can uh, use different types of die cuts and you can also use embossing folders, which I'll show you a little bit later in the video. This is a magnetic platform. You buy it separately, but for those of us who do a lot of die cutting, I highly recommend that you own a magnetic die cutting board um, or platform. I'm sorry, it's not a board, it's a platform. And so, <clears throat> There, the advantages of this platform is that obviously it's magnetic and so it holds your dies in place for you. Now, when you first purchase your machine, like I said, you will get a regular cutting or a regular platform in there that has the tabs one and tab two on it. Now, for years, I that is what I used. I used the regular platform that came with my machine and what I did was use post-it tape or post-it notes and just use that to hold my die cuts in place on my paper as I ran it through my machine. And I'm going to demonstrate that's how I did it right there. So it's not like you have to run out and buy that magnetic board as soon as you get your machine. Get the feel for your machine. See if you're going to use it um, as much as you think you might. And once you've had it for a while, then purchase your magnetic board. That's one of the things that I want everybody to understand is everything that I have, I have acquired over the past five years. I did not run out and buy anything um, just start purchasing stuff. I took my time and I made decisions uh, and I use a lot of coupons and I buy stuff on sale a lot. So um, just keep that in mind while you're looking at these machines is to make sure it's what you need, make sure it's what you want before you jump into buying it. So here I'm actually going to demonstrate using this machine and how amazing it is. And I'm using one of the new die cuts from Crafting Desert Divas from the Planet Dies. And it's perfect for your happy planners. And so what you do is you have your magnetic platform or your regular platform. You'll lay down a cutting pad and then your paper then your die cut, and then another cutting pad, and then you'll crank it through your machine just like you see that I did there. Now you only have to go through one pass, but I just do two passes. It's a habit because where I keep my machine, it's easier for me just to crank it back through to get everything out of it. Um, and so here's what you see. What happens is that wonderful die cut there. So here's the heart from the mini shaker clip dies um, that 
Crafting Desert Divas just came out with. And I'm actually going to change my mind here and take this one heart off and just do the biggest heart. And that is actually the back panel for your mini shaker. I'm showing you how to cut these pieces for your mini shakers now. So it's, see, you can stop, you can pass through one time. And then we're going to do one more back panel because remember, I don't know if you saw my video or not, but you always start your mini shakers with two back panels. You're going to cut two of those back panels for your mini shakers. So then what you want to do is you're going to keep one back panel to the side. Then you're going to take a smaller heart from the uh, mini shaker clip dies and you're going to center it in that panel there. And then you're going to run that through your machine also. And it's just this, these machines are so amazing. It makes cutting so much easier. Um, and it also makes these little shakers when you can cut through your stuff like this so much easier. So there's your uh, front panel your front frame for your little mini shaker. See how quick I did that? So you can see why this makes a big difference in uh, your, your cutting for your mini shakers and also for creating stickers and stuff for your planners. And so this... And so now I'm going to show you how to take your die cuts and turn them into stickers using this Xyron sticker maker. Now you can pick this sticker maker up at most of your uh, big box stores, craft stores, and even some Walmarts um, carry them. You just have to check your stores to see where. This particular uh, Xyron sticker maker is a small one, and that's why I like to use it for my planners, and it measures, the opening there measures one and a half inches wide. So all you do, as you see, you just slide your die cut in there, and then you pull from the bottom, and it pulls it through and adds adhesive to the back of it. You press down really good before you remove this top piece, and once you have pressed down really good and removed that top um, clear piece, you see you have a sticker now. So it really does open up a whole new world of creating for your planners when you have a die cut machine and uh, some really good die cuts to go with it. <clears throat> And this little Xyron machine makes making stickers super simple. And that is actually refillable. So you just pull that piece out that you saw me taking out and replace it with a new one. So we talked a little bit about uh, embossing folders. And here I have a Halloween embossing folder. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to take this sticker now and run it through my die cut machine and emboss that cobweb right onto that sticker. So you take your embossing folder and you put your sticker inside wherever you want it, sandwich it in the embossing folder, and then you lay it down on your cutting plate, and then you lay another cutting plate over the embossing folder, and you run it through your machine, just like you see I did there, and it will emboss that for you. See, now I have that spider web on my um, sticker for my planner. Is that not the coolest? So when I say that these die cutting machines will change the way you uh, do your planners, I'm very serious about it. It really will open up a whole new world for you with your planner because there are so many um, different things that you can do with die cuts and um, embossing to add to your planner, to add some uniqueness to your planner. I know there are a lot of wonderful stickers out there and there's also a lot of wonderful um, little itsy boutique shops opening up that offer stickers and stuff, but I say if you want something that's unique, something that's your own, then go with the die cutting machine and purchase some die cuts. So I'm going to show you how to actually take this die cut and uh, do some partial die cutting so that you can make the die cut whatever size you want. So you do the same thing. You lay your platform down, your cutting board down, your paper, and then your die. And we're actually going to extend this uh, die cut. So on the top plate, you want to only run to the very uh, 
in there. You don't want it to go all the way over the die cut. You'll see there how I left it where it won't cut that end. So then you just want to crank that through. And I'm going to show you what it does, how it um, will only cut to wherever you end that plate. Once you run your, you stop your plate at a certain place, then it won't cut past that point. So there you see how it did that partial die cut and you see where I stopped the plate so it didn't cut there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to flip our paper around and we're going to line our die cut up. Make sure that you have it lined up um, perfectly because if you don't you'll end up with a wonky die cut and it's not too difficult. And then you lay the die cut, the cutting board back down and don't go all the way to the end of the die cut because you're you're only going you're making this as long as you want it but this is the length I decided on so I've gone ahead and run it through and now you see how we have this die cut we extended it so see when I tell you your possibilities are endless I seriously mean they are endless and so let's talk some about pattern paper. I love using pattern paper and the pattern paper you see here is by Doodlebug Designs Incorporated and I use a lot of Doodlebug um, paper pads because I love the colors, I love the um, ability to coordinate within that paper pad with no problems whatsoever because they take all the guesswork out of it for you. So they're great for like the little die cuts that I have there is a bait for babies and you see this paper is adorable for little baby die cuts. Another thing great about the doodle bug paper pads are you get these squares in a lot of your paper pads and if you cut them they're perfect for your planner so that's another plus about the uh, doodle bug paper. And here you'll see is a layout that I did using this Mitten Kitten Doodlebug paper pad and how I use my die cuts and the little squares and stuff to cut out my different um, pieces to add to that. So another wonderful thing about these paper pads, they make coordinating their uh, things with it so easy and you'll a lot of them will give you um, solid pieces of paper in them like you see here the pink and the yellow and those are perfect for die cutting and using as you see I have here your stick for stamping and writing on so that's another plus about the doodle the doodle bug paper pads and they have a lot of embellishments also. Well, you see the balloon die cuts over there to the left in the presents. Um, all of those I've done with my die cut machine and die cuts and added to my planner. All of the photos here are die cut with the die cut I was just using from Crafting Desert Divas. And you really can add such a uh, whole new level of uniqueness to your planners by using die cuts and then including stamps and different things like that. So another great thing about Doodlebug is they have this adorable washi that matches their uh, paper pads and their sprinkles and they've come out with cute clips and all kinds of fun things but um, keep an eye out for more products coming to the Crafting Desert Diva store because she's starting to add more items um, to go with your planners and other crafting that you might do. And she's really fast to ship. I never wait more than two or three days to get my stuff from her. She's just absolutely amazing. And yes, I am on her design team, but that doesn't change the fact that she ships really fast and she has great customer service. And even if I wasn't on her design team, I would still purchase from her. She's just a sweetheart. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you the information that you needed and I hope you have a great week. Thanks.